is dead after an officer involved shooting in Madisonville and now investigators are left to wonder how it all happened. Local 12's Christian Hauser joins us live from the UDF station near the corner of Red Bank and Madison Road. Now Christian, do we know exactly what led up to the shooting? Well, that's a big question tonight, Morella, and uh, the UDF, where all this happened, it has fully reopened. But just a few hours ago, the entire area was shut down and crime scene tape was everywhere. Now, here are the, the two main points of this. We know that the man was, sh uh, a, a man, excuse me, was shot in the parking lot of that UDF by a Cincinnati police officer. He was taken to UC Medical Center where he died from his injuries, and that officer, she is okay tonight. The incident happened around 5 p.m. Interim Police Chief Teresa Thiege says a white man was around this gray sedan. Officers don't know if he was the actual driver. There was some um, radio communications about a possible um, OVI in the area, and the description. this car matches the description of that. We're still trying to piece that together, though. It's not known if the officer followed the car into the lot or if she just happened to see it. We do know an African-American female officer and the suspect had some sort of altercation. Police say something happened to escalate things to the point the officer shot at the man. This looks like it was one of an officer and one individual involved so far. That's what the facts are telling us. Um, so the community is completely safe. Fiji says a gun was recovered at the scene, but we don't know if it was the suspects and if it was, if he fired at the officer. Right now, investigators don't have much to go on. We have no witnesses that were on the lot at the time. Um, we have not interviewed the officer yet, and we ha are still trying to gather evidence such as body cam footage and footage from some of the nearby businesses. Investigators are downloading the officer's body camera footage to get an idea of what happened. No word when they'll interview the officer. The prosecutor's office and the Citizens Complaint Authority will both conduct independent investigations of the incident. That's standard procedure. Now, we did just hear from Cincinnati Police FOP President Dan Hills. He says that the suspect uh, brandished a black handgun at the officer, and he says that that officer believed that her life was in danger, so she fired and killed that suspect. Now, Hills says that the suspect's gun was loaded with a round in the chamber. Now, that's from the FOP president. That's not the official police investigation. We'll learn more as investigators uh, release information on this. For now, live in Madisonville, Christian Hauser, Local 12 News. Thank you, Christian. Now, the officer is on administrative leave while the invest incident is under investigation, and that's standard for any officer-involved shooting. Now, Interim Chief Teresa Thiege says more information will be released tomorrow during a news conference. We will share updates from that as soon as it happens.